Hello, you lovely bunch. No respawns here. Hope you're doing well. So, I am in the Maya. Um, the Maya is possibly my favourite place in the game, and I wanted to relocate my camp here. I've already built the thing that I'm going to build. I've made a, made a nice, cosy cottage, um, but I thought I wanted to obviously rebuild it for you so you can actually see how awesome it looks, because I'm quite pleased. I found a good area, too, so I found this wee pond here, which is just um, basically north-ish of the Big Moor and this treehouse thing. And that crash plane, which I still haven't actually bothered to discover anything in this area yet. Apparently, but it's a pretty cool area. There are some enemies that spawn about here. I don't have any issue with them. I've got my wee, um, I've got my camera. But also I've got my melee weapons that I tend to, my little assassin's buzz blade tends to just, um, maul them quite effectively. So, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Pretty pleased with what I've made. Um, I wanted something that kind of looked a bit cosy, so this is going to make good use of the... Uh, the stone and the wood tab. I've also special shout out to these striped planks from the Atom Store, which look incredibly cozy. Um, as per, I've deliberately left a uh, foundation there so I can kind of rebuild everything a little bit quicker. Um, so let's uh, begin. Let's just jump straight into it. Oh, this is cool. Um, I was actually going to. So I've actually got. I mentioned in my last building video um, that I'd got a building character. And this isn't him, this is my main character. The reason being is I just haven't actually got around to transferring the recipes over, the new recipes over to my building character. I've got all of the stuff that I picked up, that I've just generally picked up on this guy that I've just stored in my, uh, my stash. Uh, but also, my building character doesn't have any of the, uh, what do we call it, recipes as well. The... Fashnack Festival ones. Uh, this guy's got loads of them, so I'm going to transfer them over at some point. Um... I've been making loads of non-buildy Fallout vids, uh, but that's mainly because we've been getting loads of updates. Uh, that's it, is it? Um, I'm going to try and remember what it looks like. Um, it might look a little bit different, basically, <laughs> uh, because I might forget, but hopefully... I mean, worst case, I'm not too bothered. Oh, am I thirsty? Oh, I hate when I start a video and I get all thirsty. Drink the water, you bastard. Right, there we go. All right, back again. Cool. So, right... Let's do this thing. Uh, the reason why my stored is obviously my budget is really maxed out is because I've obviously got everything already stored up and looking grand. So, yeah. I'm pretty pleased about this one, actually. Like, um, this one has quite an elaborate roof on it, which I'm especially happy about. Um, it might look a little bit different than how I remember, which is not a problem because I can go okay and tweak some bits instead. So be all good. Yeah. Um, I do love mixing the wood tab with the um, stone tab. I think my slight issue with the the all the other set other than the stone tab is that this is the only one that actually has some decent walls. That is not how I do that at all. That goes there, doesn't it? Does it? Does it? Yes, it is. We're going to move those to the side. Um, yeah, no, but for, in terms of decoration, the the stone tab is the only one that that the con the you know this these ones. Why aren't you in there for? Um, oh, that's because that's there. The um the the brick the red brick walls are the only ones that actually look. Decent with the stuff on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember bringing it now. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. Oh, did I have it in the back there? Should I have it that way? Should I have it as a T or should I have it as a little thing? I'm gonna have it as a. No, it's gonna be like this. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, because uh, the wooden walls. You, they're all textured, and so posters and things either don't fit on them properly or just look really, really weird. Um, whereas these ones are actually flat. So they, what I'm saying is I wish we had wooden walls and metal walls which were flat and actually were good decorating ser services. Maybe eventually, in the probably depressingly distant future, we'll get something like that. And if you're watching this video from the future, and we do have that, well, I hope you're enjoying them because I really want them. Right. Is that a police siren? <laughs> uh, 
I swear to fucking Christ, me recording a video will summon up police sirens. It is. I'm recording this at 1am. There shouldn't be any police sirens. <laughs> it's not heard a single one for hours. Um, yeah, also, I've discovered I really like doing this, putting wooden supports on the inside so everything just looks a little bit nicer. This is going to look a little bit different than how I did it in my last, um, when I did it earlier, which is absolutely fine. But it is going to look different. So, that is that. But we will survive. Okay, I'm trying... Oh, wait, no, 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 it's like that. I've got a quite whole elab... I've got a whole elaborate roof thing going on. It's all lots of angles, lots of bits and pieces. You'll love it. It's really exciting. <laughs> oh, do I do those ones? Oh, I'm going to do those ones for now. It's for you. I love the Maya so much. It's my favourite location ever in the game. I think this is why I'm building here, because I hadn't gone here very often recently. I think, obviously, I'm doing loads of the, the more of the late game stuff. So I'm just kind of, you know, doing all the other locations and all that jazz. And I'd thoroughly miss this area. And I'm really pleased to have a home here. <laughs> I love these bits. I was like, I wanted to use these in some way or another. Cool. Dush. I love me. Elaborate and complex roofs. I'm pretty sure I had a big one there. But... No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm full of lies. Okay, and then alley up, and alley up, and cool, where's me roofs, there's me roofs. I'm getting a little bit better at remembering what the hell I do. <laughs> After that, I'm trying to like a case of like, uh, what did I do? Did I do that? Um, I don't remember, to be honest. Ah, uh, no, 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 we want more, we want a spire. There we go. And there we go. And then whoop. Actually, you can just look up. It's all good. And then we can just pop these in here. Gorgeous. I did the roof properly. And I think that means I've done everything else properly as well. And everything else is done properly? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's now done differently. Um, I like these options. So I've got a nice little space in here, you see. And uh, it looks pretty grand, but obviously there's going to be more bits to do, so don't you worry. Because um, in the last video, I discovered my love of adding bits to the outside, which is exactly what we're going to do, though. Add texture and levels and layers and all that shit. Oh, sounds like enemies. Oh, that's me. Okay, I might get attacked in a sec. I thought I heard something moving around. Um, so the enemies that appear in here are a combination of frogs and um, I got some uh, little, 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 little liberator robots. But mostly they're not too tough. I haven't had a scorched beast yet. Um, I really got to get all the perks for the um, all of the turrets. Um, I haven't got all of the home defense perks. So I only have just enough room to fit this in, by the way. Um, <laughs> um, all of the home defense perks because I think since they've obviously updated the building thing so now that you have a bit more room for turrets I'm wondering whether just having a load of of the old um, like high energy turrets and like missile turrets might be quite good here but that's on the to-do list okay okay yeah Lots of little balconies and bits. Because obviously without these bits, it would look a little bit, still interesting, but a little bit bland to an extent. Oh, I've got to do the roofs in there. Um, whereas this adds that much needed texture to the outside. Um, so annoyingly, I can't fit like a gate here. Because it's just out of the build limit. It still looks nice though, so I'm okay with it. Erky dirky. Oh, I need to do the roofs. Don't I was literally talking to myself about doing that. Is that more police sirens going past my house? Fucking hell. I don't live in the ghetto, people. It's pretty nice here. But I just live on a main road. And I swear, like, literally. 
You hear them? You hear them? Can you hear them? There was absolutely no police sirens all day. I've just been having quite a large nap. And the second I hit record, it summons them up. I swear to fuck. Get in there, you. It's just kind of a it's just kind of a joke now. <laughs> Years of doing this shit. <laughs> Anywho, my suspicions of the Met having some weird conspiracy against my channel. Um <laughs> they've wiretapped my room. Right. Oh, look at that, though. Look at it. Doesn't it look nice? You love it. You love it. But, you yeah, know, like, the texture of the the wooden rules looks really, really nice. But the problem is, as you can't really decorate them very much, because uh, some stuff just won't fit on them properly. But it does look very nice, so I guess that makes up for it. Um, right, okay, so next we do the exteriors. I will actually have to, bizarrely, pop the walls off for a second, but I like to put them on. Um, the reason why I have to pop them off is because I have to put them back on now. And... Um, these, what I'm about to do won't work unless I take the walls off, but it's only temporary, don't you worry, calm down, don't panic, don't panic. Um, right, uh, so I did this in the last video, really fun thing to do, what am I doing? Uh, so you just hold down A, hold down, I'm on a, on Xbox controller on PC, and then hold down L, that one, then let go of A, and it will reset it to the perfect height. Oh, that's definitely something. No, that's me. I keep hearing something move, and I think it's something coming around the corner. About to eat my face. Um, is it, which, which is that face? Like that way. I've mentioned this before, but I do prefer them alternating. I don't. I don't know why. I just like the pattern of alternating. Some people like it. Symmetry. You can do what you like. Uh, come here. Thank you. Fuck's sake. There we go. There we go. I like the alternating pattern. I loves it. Right. Gorgeous. And now the walls just fit perfectly back on as well, which is good. Um, it just won't let you do this. Hypothetically, you could do that first, but it just makes it a little bit easier to, you know, keep everything down. And this also means that I get to add texture to the outside without needing windows in here to kind of break up the monotony of the wall, which is, is quite nice. Because that means more decoration and space for activities. God, I love the mire. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's so pretty. Right. <laughs> there we go. And here. I can't actually put that. That tree doesn't disappear. Otherwise, the stairs would be. What? Why didn't you let me put that? You always let me have the stairs before. Shall I have wood stone stairs? We'll have stone steps. Fine, we'll have stone steps. I had, I had wooden steps last time, you bastard, and they were in the exact same spot. How weird. Right, we're having stone steps. Fine. I don't mind. I'm alright. I'm easy. Easy, easy, easy. There's the center. There's the center. Um, irritatingly, the, I think because it's too low down, so I can't have my pier. So it's a bit of, um, it's a bit short, if you know what I mean. Um, but... It's fine because I was gonna have like a longer pier going out, but it won't let. It won't. It's it's because of this shit here. Well, I can. I mean, I could do. I could do a wider one, maybe. We could have a slightly asymmetry one. Let's try asymmetry. What does the asymmetry look like? Nah. Eh. Nah. We'll leave it as a little bit of a, a little bit of a nubbin at the end. Um. Right, that's the way we want. And we go. This is where the fishing happens, basically. I mean, there's probably no fish in there, but um, it's all right. It's all right. It's getting a bit dark now. Um, I managed to time my video. But, oh, I've missed one of my walls. Oopsie, and I've got a bloody... Oh, yeah, right. I don't want to do that. Get the little bag. There we go. There we go. I seem to neglect these walls quite a bit. In you go, and then I can do the decoration, but we'll do a little bit of a, a wander around before I do that so you can see it all pure. Um, I'll put the doors on as well. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I recommend picking up these nice doors. There's another set of nice doors as well. They just look nice, to be honest. They're just nice. They're nice little doors. Nice little wholesome. 
sure I can hear someone moving around. Um, I'm just going to do one thing, which is put a couple of lanterns around, um, just so you can see it in the nice light. Okie dokie. And then I'll do the decoration off camera. But these are... Uh, I've mentioned before how much I love these lights, and I just think they have complete the whole thing. And plus, because it's getting dark, it means you get to actually see it all, you know, lit up and wholesome, like... Boop. Okie dokie. Such a nice. Um, the only thing that would make this area perfect is if I had um, some form of node I could work for an extractor. But I'm okay because it's just one more, just like a, it's just nice having one. But yeah, it would be nice. It's a bit of a shame. But it, I have this big pond now. Um, oh, he's hungry as well. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? You fat shit. You ate earlier. You eat more than I do. Um, so I could have all this area for water purifiers and things, which I'm, because I've been having my little camp, you know, the little place with all the tents, well, the tent, um, I never have any of the big water purifiers, which now I can. Right, let's give you a little bit of a walk around before we do the decorations, so we've got this quite nice, it's quite nice and cosy, quite nice and wholesome, um, I really like adding bits to the outside, because obviously it adds a lot to the texture and just kind of breaks up the exterior quite a lot, oh, I've forgotten Fucking, I've not finished yet. Here's me doing my little, guys, wait a second, I'm going to go to the decoration. There is literally no roof. Um, you didn't say anything, yeah? Shut up. Shut up. Nothing happened. And I could do that. I'm not going to do that, because I think it makes for a slightly weird... Do this one instead. Get, get there. Get on the top. Get on, you dickhead. No, I can't see. Can I? Will you come down? This is the most embarrassing attempt at putting a roof on. I can't get it on. <laughs> there we go. That way. Get on. Thank you. Right, anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh... Yeah, anyway, so I was doing a little bit of a walk around. Uh, yeah, so it looks really, really nice. Um, I'm quite pleased with it. Obviously, we're going to do loads of decoration. Oh, getting stuck. And it's going to be this little vlog I can stand on here. <laughs> so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, no, very, very cosy. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate it, add bits and pieces, add those last finishing touches, add loads of stuff in the inside, and you can see it in all of its cosy cottage glory. One mo. Right, so here we are. Um, I'm quite pleased with this. I had a lot of fun decorating it. So this is going to be, as mentioned, this will be my new player home for this guy. So you'll definitely be seeing this place again. And I'm going to add a lot more to it. I decided to hold myself back a little bit too much because I was like, right, this is your permanent player base. You don't want to... You're going to change. I'm going to move furniture around. But I'm quite pleased. Let me find... Um, let's get on my, my peaking log. This is my peaking stump. Um, it's also beautiful weather as well. Look at the Maya. Look at it. Ah, oh, I love it so much. It makes me so happy. It's such a gorgeous area. I was just going to tour on the outside. Obviously, I've got the very welcoming no vacancy and go away signs. I'm especially pleased with how I wired these up. It's quite subtle unless you actually notice it. Um, I've managed to... I'm just over all the wiring in this place. The whole big roof actually helped quite well with making power. Um, was quite distributed around the area. So let's go around the outside. Uh, so I've got... Um, the only thing this area lacked a little bit was somewhere to plant my crops, so I've just got this little kind of don't touch my stuff, uh, wee little place here, which to be fair is all I really need because um, I only have it for like making corn soup and stuff like that. Um, some people I know have massive farms and they sell all their stuff, but to be completely honest, I, I couldn't have bothered to do that. Um, I've got the two war purifiers, that gives me eight water uh, once they're fully um, stocked up, which is pretty grand, and I've got wee turrets. Um, I'm eventually probably going to think about putting more turrets around and higher tier turrets, but for now, uh, they're fine, so I've got the spiky things here, uh, so I've got my power armor station, um, my generator. Realistically, I'd have rather had that a bit better defended somewhere, but I, I couldn't really think of where to put it, which didn't look weird, so it looks fine there. Most of the enemies around here are all melee anyway, so they don't tend to get in. Um, I've got this area here. Um, this looks really cool at night. Um, I'm not going to bother showing a tour just because it will take me ages to find a night time, no doubt. Um, but basically, it just looks quite nice. I'll, I'll make a point to do a tour at night time, as you can see it. But it just, it kind of looks really creepy, because it's basically just this, uh, 
this light lighting up the uh, pond. It looks quite nice. And a little place to play the banjo as well, because wholesome. Uh, this is this is one area I don't actually like, because I had no idea where to put it. But this is my... Uh, um, my uh, decontamination arch. Uh, also, someone nuked, like, just down there. The Harper's Ferry, hence all the explosions, in case you're curious. Um, I think they're making the area uh, a little bit tougher. I mentioned before, this is where the enemies actually spawn. I do have to move this as well. Normally, I shove it in my farm, so I'll do that in a sec. Uh, so, I've only got two turrets. Okay, let's go inside. Ah, oh, it's so cozy. I love this place so much. Ah, it's so good. Um, and we're finally starting to get a decent amount of decoration, which is pretty grand. Um, I've mentioned before, um, my decoration style in this is just being very, very Fallout 76 player home look, because realistically having something which looks rustic and realistic isn't really viable, um, in the current build of the game. So it's better to just kind of, I guess, almost go over the top a little bit, and it, it kind of makes it a bit more fun, which is kind of what I've gone. So I've got my welcome home thing, I've got all my little, my little streamers on the side there. It's a bit open, I could probably have made the floor panel a bit more exciting, but I just, honestly, I just wanted to get the stuff in, and I'll at some point kind of rearrange things to make the, uh, the use of the floor a little bit nicer. Um, I always, something I'm probably permanently going to have is my little kind of central thing. Um, the reason being is just it looked quite cool, and plus that lantern actually pretty much lights up the room in a really kind of nice warm way, uh, which is quite cool. So I've got loads of nonsense on the walls. Gotta have your nonsense. Um, got quite a lot of nonsense, actually. And my stuffs. Here is my wee room. It's very cosy. I can get in that bed. I have tested it, so it's all grand. Um, and here is my chem and cooking area. A lot of nonsense on the walls. A lot of nonsense on the ceilings, as you can see. It's all very grand. And then out here... Um, I'm gonna, I was gonna get some little benches, but, um, I don't actually have the recipes for them yet. So this is where I can make my armor, uh, tinker's workbench, and also where my weapon repair area. So basically, I mean, to us, in terms of, I really love the way this whole thing feels, and I'm, I'm really pleased I finally got a safe, cool location which has all of my needs in the mile, because, um, as I said, I've got two characters, and my other character is my main building guy, and I'm pretty much just not going to rebuild this base now for a while, uh, which is quite cool. I'll probably just redecorate it, so if I do any questing uh, videos again, I'll make sure to start off in here, so you can at least see how it's changed, more decorations, all that jazz. Um, but I think I probably will tweak it, because, for example, it's just a bit, um... I've done that thing where it's easy to do, where you only use the edges of the rooms, and I probably realistically want to kind of try and arrange my furniture a bit differently but it's, it's good enough for now which i'm quite pleased anyway hope you guys like that gave you a few ideas i said mixing the stone brick with the wood looks really really nice adding kind of exterior platforms like this i think just kind of breaks up uh, just kind of breaks up the exterior, but also kind of adds new options in terms of where you put stuff, which is very, very nice. And it just kind of breaks up the monotony of the walls. So, for example, you don't have to feel like you need to spam windows to actually make the outside of the walls look like they're not just repeating the same texture. So I'm, I'm overall kind of incredibly... I'm incredibly pleased with this place, and yeah, it's it's really grand. I'll just remind you again where it is, in case you want to feel free to steal it, because obviously um, it doesn't harm to me. So it's just where you've got Big Moor, you've got the little, uh, I haven't actually discovered that, that place, and then you've got the plane here. So it's, it's very, very easy to find. And it said it's pretty safe, just occasionally you'll get frogs and... Um, random enemies spawn just over there. But yes, um, I will have a new video up soon, so I've got the next episode of the Don't Stars Let's Play. That's going to be a couple more videos, then I'll start moving other things. Um, last week, I got two CD keys uh, for two games I did get to see at EGX, so I will be doing one of those next week, because it leaves embargo, and then the following week as well. And also another Fallout video. I'm going to try and get another build video on my other character before the next update drops. I think it's the week after next, uh, because that way um, I can then have like two builds of videos up and then do like a, I've got kind of a quest video, which would be pretty cool. Get backpacks, which I'm incredibly excited for. Anyway, until that point, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. As always, follow me on Twitter at NoResponse, and I will speak to you glorious bunch soon. You take care.